Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Damage Gems Gun Info. Today I'm going to discuss about sling plates. On your standard AR-15 lower, as an example, there are single point sling mounts that you can get. There are different models and stuff like that. Uh, that will replace this rear plate right here under your castle nut on the buffer tube of your AR-15 uh, rifle or pistol uh, lower receiver. And this is the one that I'm actually talking about right here. As you can see, this will slide on in place of the plate and then will allow you to attach a sling so that it will slip left and right so that you can actually, when you're on the weapon and have a sling attached, you can do transition drills without having to worry about getting bound up in your sling when you're using it as a single point sling. This allows you to change hands from your right hand as your firing hand to your left hand as your firing hand so that you can shoot around barriers, etc., and allows the weapon to hang center line whenever you end up dropping the firearm uh, so it just hangs against the sling against your body. So to replace these, one well, of the first things you're going to end up having to do is you're going to have to remove the castle nut, back it out, so that you can then remove this plate. Okay, so this has already been loosened. Might have loosened it a little bit more. And there we go. Okay, with that done now, we want to end up removing the buffer and the buffer tube, or the buffer uh, spring. Okay. Now what you also have to do is be aware that there's a spring and a detent inside being held by this plate. So one of the things we're gonna have to do is kind of push this back and wiggle it out of place. You may end up having to use a small flat-headed screwdriver to get it loose. Because sometimes these ones are tightened on in the get-go are really hard to loosen up. Okay, with a minor little twist, this pops loose, and this will then slide back, gently pull the spring off to the side. And now what you'll do is, pushing your finger down here, you'll hold onto your, your uh, buffer tube detent pin, and you'll unscrew your buffer. The whole buffer tube will unscrew and come off of the firearm. All right, just like that. Now, you remember you have the spring and your buffer tube detent uh, in here. So that holds your buffer uh, in the tube while it's loaded in the firearm. So the next thing I do is I will take this off. And then this piece should slide on. So as you can see, you slide this replacement one on, then you will take, put your spring back in. Bearing in mind, you will gently roll your buffer tube, screw it back into the rear of your firearm until it gets to the point where it will contain So now it has contained the buffer uh, retaining pin. So you have the little spring off to the side here. So once this is aligned, you will then pull this plate all the way forward, and then you will rotate the castle nut into place. You will take your wrench and you will end up having to tighten it. There are other different castle nut wrenches that are out there. So you will rotate this until it is nice and tight. Now, depending upon how you end up doing your firearm, as you can see, there right here is a little 
uh, notch in the castle nut. And you can see where the sling plate fits here, the little angle pieces attach it. So what you can do then after this has been screwed down nice and tight, where everything ends up meeting specifications, then what you can do is you can take your punch and you can take a punch and smack that right there to stake and deform the middle just a little bit into that notch will then prevent the castle nut from backing out so that you ensure that it stays tight under operation. So now we'll take and we'll put our buffer and spring back in. Okay, you can push a magazine release. So now whenever you were to hang that firearm, it would end up hanging here. So if you have your sling on, the sling comes from where my hand is, and now you can do all different types of things as far as that goes, instead of using the rear bu uh, buffer uh, tube mounted uh, buttstock sling mount, which you can flip these to either side. They usually hang center line, um, but I prefer them on the side so that it hangs more comfortably. But with the ASAP sling plate by Magpul, simple installation allows you to have this where your weapon will hang center line so you can shoot from the left or right hand um, and maintain control of your firearm. So that's just real quick down and dirty. Sometimes on aftermarket sling plates, the notch right here, which aligns with the buffer tube to keep your stock straight, will need to be lightly filed with a small little file like right here and right there, just to make sure that it actually slides correctly on the buffer tube. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this episode of Damage Jim's Gun Info. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to always carry a knife because there may be cake.